So what are we gonna do with the bastard? I mean, we're not letting Iron Mike put him on trial, are we? No, we're not. All right, so what's the plan? I know the area pretty well. Sarah, uh, she worked out of a lab south of Iron Butte Ranch. I used to ride out there, pick her up for lunch. Harder to ride on some of those back roads. Jesse, Carlos, whatever the hell he's calling himself. He's taken over the old golf course and resort. Just south of the lodge is the Crescent Lake Reservoir. Now we blow that dam, that lake's gonna flood down into the valley and it's gonna drown them all with grass. Okay, but isn't the lodge up on a hill? Yeah. Yeah, flood probably won't do much to it, but it'll do enough damage to the rest of the river compound to take out most of his men. And if Jesse survives, he won't see us coming. You got it. Now we just gotta figure out how to get into the Iron Butte Valley without being seen, yeah? I'll get us there. You just hang on. Ripper Patrol! I see him! Come on. They're down! They're down! Come on. They're down! They're down! Okay. Uh, I've been better. Come on. We gotta finish this. Right behind you. from here. Following you. It's easy. Nope. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Figured I'd take this bag of explosives down there and ask them if they didn't mind us, you know, blowing them the fuck up. Boozer. Look, you stay up here with Skizo's rifle and keep them off me while I set the charges. Oh, ho hold on. Look, I got this. I'm not much good in a firefight, but I can plant these charges. I've set demo charges before, Boozer, in Afghanistan. I know exactly where to put them. Good. Tell me where to go when I'm down there. We doing this? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna be up in this tower. Should give me a good view of the entire dam. 
I'll wait here until you get up there. Stay low. Move fast. You got it, brother. Who's it? Oh, never mind. Go, go. Where, where do I set the first charge? You see the second set of scaffolding on top of the dam? Got it. Man, keep going. Shooting, Jake. Keep it up. Keep going, loser. Come on, come on. Man, I'm setting the second charge. See? Easy as hell. I got him, loser. Nice job. I thought that was gonna be close. Nah, keep going. Rippers, coming. Yes, yeah. yeah. of the dam. Okay. Uh, heading there now. All right. Third charge. In position. Just uh, move your ass. Okay, you try doing this with one hand and a blade. Hey, come on, man. Sometimes I wish I had a blade hand. Got it. Kind of busy here. Got him? from Holy shit! Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Unless, wait a minute, was this already... <laughs> <laughs> well, that never gets old, does it? Uh. What's up? Let's go find Jesse.
Brother, you uh, you did a hell of a job back there. Yeah? Man, I thought I was done for a couple of times. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. What the hell are you talking about? This is the most alive I've felt since... Oh, shit. You remember when we got trapped by that horde in Tumalo? We ain't done yet. How many do you think we killed? I don't know. And they had it coming, right? Yeah, they had it coming. Yes, we all did. Like we go in on foot from here. You want to stay? Keep any stray rippers from ripping off my bike? Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. And fuck that. This. This is on Jesse. You want some payback? I'll show him some fucking payback. Come on, let's head to the lodge. Like I said. Right behind you. Jesus. This must be what it looked like after Noah's flood. Came and washed away all the wicked. Yeah, except God had nothing to do with this one. Yeah. You get my point. Oh, shit. More rippers. How the hell did this fly? Come on, you want some? Think. On our right. I see him. It's a breaker. Hey! Over here, you son of a bitch! to find Jesse.
messed you up. Okay, listen. So what happens to me? There's a trail not far from here. You no, 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 no. Listen, that is not Carlos up there. Okay, not this founder. Rest in peace. It's fucking Jesse Williamson. Fucking low life piece of shit scumbag who got what was coming to him. All right. Now you fucking go up there and kill that son of a bitch. Jesse Williamson, brought low on real. Oh, do you remember back in the day? Deacon St. John, brought low by the lonely Jesse Williamson, brought low. Oh, do you remember back in the day? You and Boozer held me down. Oh, Jack burned the flesh from my back. Those memories kept me free and free. Check out this crazy. What I knew, I knew. shit again, you know. I gotta say, shoveling shit and I'm pulling weeds. I don't know, maybe it isn't such a bad way to spend the day. Yeah. Well, Jesse got how many you think are left? People that we knew from before, I mean. So there's no one left. Shut. I'm sorry. Huh. Yeah. Me too. Come on, let's get the yeah, fuck out of here. Well, like I said, I I know we haven't talked in a few years. I guess I disfigured with my Elizabeth being there with you and all probably. Wasn't much point in me yammering away at you. Oh, and then... And what with all hell breaking loose, I... I thought maybe you weren't there. Or you just didn't give a shit. Pardon my language. I guess that's why I'm here. Say, I still don't know. I hope you're there. Hope there's some reason for all this shit we're living through. That's all. We'll, we'll, we'll talk again some other time. Oh, 
Um, amen. Deke? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Ricky told me that I could find you here. Oh! Uh, uh, it's just these knees of mine, you know. It's reason I haven't been praying all these years. Yeah, I'm not a... I'm not a church-going type. Even after living through that shit storm in Sherman's camp. But now... After all this, I just thought, hell, I, maybe it, now it's the time. I, uh, I didn't have a choice, Mike. Oh, everybody's got a choice, Deke. Until they're dead. It's either us or them. <laughs> it's always us or them. Always. You know the reason we're going to hell? is we can't figure out that us is every goddamn soul that ain't walking around in shit-stained pants trying to eat us! All right, you know what? You may not like it, but the world is what it is. Yeah, it is. Praying ain't gonna change that. Wishing that it was something else ain't gonna make it that way, Mike. Wish it ain't got anything to do with it. We make the world what it is by what we do. All of us. I let him go. Schizo. Ain't no way he was getting a fair trial. You let him go. Told him to ride out, not come back. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Mike, do you have any idea what the fuck you've done? Yeah. I stopped another killing. And you know what? I guess I'm good with that. Help you? No, this is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. Right, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? Fine. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up private Sarah property. Wh now turn around, get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. Move it. Yep. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you know what though? Uh, I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. <laughs> hey, listen, asshole, this is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say, I'm just here you to pick up. Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, uh, Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I didn't on, know go. that. It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim. Deacon. I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. Hmm. 
Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? With you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Clam Estate, visit Jack. So you're gonna blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. Every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh, my God. No, no, no. no. Listen, listen, listen. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked. They would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was... <gasps> no, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What did, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. Okay. No, I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. No. No, Matt? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, uh, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Dick, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know. And if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, I will. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just... You are to make my uptight middle class parents happy. Okay. Look out. I see them. Hey, are they are they headed to your work? Oh, shit. What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel, uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. What's going on? I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you, says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. Knock him dead. <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. Addie, I'm sorry. Whatever. Addie. Whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. God damn. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio. St. John. Didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you there was Shut up, shut up, do. shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. 
She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. So just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research, pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. Remember anything about their life, you know, from before? They're like a bunch of Alzheimer's patients, only pissed off, stronger, and who want to tear your guts out. Deke, hey, I heard, you know, I mean, what you did for us, how you, the Rippers, all of them, I just... I know you had to do it. What else was gonna stop them, you know? Yeah, look, Blair, I'm not proud of what I had to do. You know hey, Deke. You be careful out there. Let me get the gate. What do you got? I need to see you in person. Jesus, Brian, just would you tell me what you found? Is, is she is she alive or isn't she? I have something to give you. Well, Brian, I've transmitted the coordinates. Meet me there. O'Brien out. O'Brien. Oh, God damn it. D. Iron Mike's looking for you. He said. Who's man? Listen, just uh. Who's man? Listen, just uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta. You remember what I told you? Um, the night that Sarah died, Nero, they bugged out. They only took their own people, feds, and people who had federal clearance levels. Deke, what the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deacon out. that didn't exist. And Global Warming? Just a bunch of lying scientists, well in the pockets of those gunning to profit off of all the doom and gloom. When you think about it, all of this, just another way to build unrest in the people. If we're too busy arguing about polar ice caps and genetically altered food and jihad, we're blind to what's really going on behind the curtain. Don't be fooled by all of this direction, folks. They point one way, you look straight at them. This is Mark Cooper for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. So your sage advice, Cope, is to assume that everyone is just lying their asses off. Is that about it? So... Yeah, oh, that's, that's, that is about it. That's... Oh, here we go. Information. What information, O'Brien? What the hell can you possibly have left to say that I would give a damn about? See you over there. Yeah, yeah booze man, what's up? I just, I just wanted to say thanks. For it's no worries, brother. I mean, it, it followed me. You know, wouldn't leave me alone. What was I supposed to do? Hey, get that. Hey, come on. Yeah, sure. Shit, perfect timing. Hey, hey, get down. Hey. Easy, man. 
name. Yeah, sure it followed you. Hey, uh, I named him Jack. <laughs> yeah, Jack would have loved that. Hide in the bushes. Get him out of there. <laughs> Okay, uh, you were saying? Uh, no, he wouldn't have, which is why I did it. <laughs> all right, easy, easy, boy. All right, all right, enough, enough. Okay, these are out. You're welcome. God, take you son of a bitch. No more ambush drifters for you, huh? So what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust, who, like me, aren't happy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right about your wife. How did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance level. Clearance level. Your wife bugged out with a recon unit east of Fort Rock. Take me there. No. No. Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago. Local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? I don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. I wanted to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the creeks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now, they're gonna get worse. A lot worse. Man, come back. Yeah, hey, listen, listen to me. Uh, a year ago, we were with Iron Mike. We were thinking about riding south. The Santium Pass was blocked. There was no way through, and he said that he knew another way. Iron Mike is not too happy with us right now. Just listen to me. Just listen to me. Do you remember what he said? Iron Mike? Yeah, he was, he was bragging about knowing every goat trail in 100 miles, so there was a, a trail that went around Mount. Tielsen, Tielsen, yeah, that's it. Tielsen, pass. Yeah, why the hell? Shit. You've talked to him. She's alive. Sarah's alive. Hey, listen to me. Oh, 
Brian, the uh, loser, he found her ID badge. Yeah, loser, uh, I, I think that she's alive. Loser. I don't know, uh, but God, if there's even a chance that she's in my way, I gotta find her. Open in the gate. I used to be a cop. All right, let's see what the old man's got to say. You know a way over the Tielson Pass. You told me once that I... Uh, told you nothing. Go on. Oh, I can't on. help you, Deke. Just draw me a goddamn map. After everything you've done. After everything I've... Well, what about what you've done, old man? Huh? Sherman's you camp, the things that you, you get did. Out of here. You listen me, listen me, listen to me. What if you could take it all back, huh? What if you could fix it? The fact that I put Sarah on a chopper, I felt relieved. How fucked up is that? Uh, I was relieved. Mike, that's what I've been living with. And now you're chasing ghosts. You think finding your old lady, if she's alive, you think that's gonna fix it? Make you whole? I don't know, but I gotta try. <sighs> All right. If I do this, what you want, show you the way over the pass. You don't come back. All right, you promised me you don't come back. I got you. <sighs> Shit, now I gotta talk to Boozer. Last winter, we were up on Farewell Ridge. We were watching the freaks. Thousands, thousands of them. I mean, too many to count. Yeah, I remember. All I could think was every one of us, man, woman, and child, are now homeless. A bunch of goddamn refugees. Yeah, world belongs to them now. We'll survive. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing that all right. Surviving. Isn't living. <laughs> Something Jack used to say. Doesn't matter when you hit the road where you're heading out to, but you damn well better know where you're coming home to. You know, we never talked about it. While we still wore the colors all this time out in the freak show and shit like this didn't matter anymore. Yeah, yeah but I think. Last two Mongols on Earth, farewell originals. Uh, the biker boys, most badass drifters on the broken road. Damn straight. Yeah, I guess we did become sort of a brand. Yeah. We were a lot of things, but we were never a brand. <laughs> <laughs> we rode out of farewell without Sarah, without Jack or anyone. I knew that we were leaving everything behind. Everything that mattered was gone. Said this. You're a 
Nomad, nomad again, huh? Yep, I guess I am. Come on, Jack. Inside, let's go. If she's out there, you'll find her. Yeah, Mike, I'm ready. Meet me at the gate. Don't keep me waiting. Yeah, sure, Mike, whatever you say. Hey. Our big Mike is taking you over the pass? Yep. You really think she's still alive? Billions of people are dead, but somehow she made it. Hey, we made it, didn't we? If I give up now, if I don't, if I don't do this, well, then I'm just gonna end up like, uh... Like us, right? Like Iron Mike, like Boozer? What'd you call us campers, yeah? You go, and you find your woman. You know where to find me. Hey, you know what? You know what I think, Deacon? I think that you're, you're afraid to be here. You're afraid to be a part of something. We need you here and that scares the hell out of you. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, me too. You ready? Yeah, I want to get the hell out of here. Jack out fishing once, before, you know. Oh shit. I got one. Didn't know what the hell to do with it. That sounds like Jack. Oh, you ran a pretty tight club. Or you boys raised some hell back in the day. But I don't think you murdered anyone. Not in cold blood. It's not murder if they shoot at you first. we used to get through here come summer? A few. Thousands. Too many to count. Highway be bumper to bumper with SUVs and campers chock full of sunburned moms, beer chugging dads, and their snot-nosed kids. Goddamn rainbow of floppy hats, Hawaiian shirts, and flippy flops. All summer long they come. A trail of colorful ants from L.A. to farewell to here. Non-stop. Glad I avoided road trips out here that time of year.
this is as far as I go. Keep following the trail. It'll take you down the mountain, on into the Diamond Lake Valley. I wish you luck. Hope you're right about your old lady still being alive. She is. Well, maybe so. But you gotta ask yourself, Deke, what does it matter if everyone else is dead? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what we would have done without oh, you, man. Oh, come on. Hey, Thank okay, you, all right, all right, all right. It's dead. It's cool. Man of the hour. Oh, God. I'm Russell. Glenn Russell. This is Private Mullins. Uh, Rick. Hey, Rick. Uh, I'm Deacon St. John. Did, did you say private? Yeah. Yes, sir. The Shoots County Militia. You're not from around here. You come over the pass? Uh, no, no, no. I've just been uh, drifting. I came over the uh, salt flats east of Silver Lake. <laughs> what? what the hell are you doing out here, man? How'd you get across the 97? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, man. What? This guy just saved your freaking life. The colonel told us to look out for anybody entering the territory, north or south. Freaking slow your roll, man. We'll let the captain deal with that, okay? Fine. He just killed a freaking ranger, dude. Come with us. We got a camp just by Diamond Lake. Get you three hots in a cot. Least we can do. Okay, yeah, sounds good. What about floor eyes? We can't just leave them here. Uh, you stay here. I'll come back with some fuel. No! Listen, stay here. Use his ammo if you gotta. You'll be fine. Okay? Following you. Got a 
Just stick with me, okay? Been having some trouble with squatters out here the past few weeks. The patrol picks you up, could be trouble. Okay, got it. So, uh, this shoots county militia? Look, man, all I know is they feed me. They want me to salute, and yes, sir, I salute and say yes, sir. How big's your outfit? The camp out here? We got a hundred, maybe more. Hard to keep track. Back at HQ, a whole lot more of that. Yeah, okay. Uh, any women? Hell, that what you're about? Well, you can forget it. Girls got rules about that. Frat, fratern, fraternal. Fraternizing! <laughs> yeah, that. Look, you pull your weight, follow orders, nobody messes with you. Women, same as the men. Don't matter to the colonel. I'm not... Uh... Listen, I, I'm just, I'm looking for some people and a woman that I rode with a year back or so. They would have come over from Silver Lake. They would have been at one of those Nero refugee camps, I think. Silver Lake? Jesus, man. Silver Lake's been gone a lot longer than that. Yeah, yeah. It's too goddamn easy to lose track of time out of here, you know? Anyway, you guys, uh, do you pick anyone up? Survivors, I mean, from, uh, from the refugee camp. Maybe. Like I said, it's a big freaking army, you know? Ask the captain. He came in across the salt flats, I think. He might know. Captain? Yeah, Corey. He commands the Diamond Lake outpost. We're almost there. This is it. It's Corporal Russell. Open up. Report. Captain, sir, we had him. We did. Found his bike still smoking. I bet you lost him, huh? No, sir. I mean, yeah, we lost him. We ran into a rager, sir. Where's Mullins? Flores? Flores is dead, sir. I'll have Mullins with a body. That'll be all, Corporal. Go get some fuel. Head back to Mullins. You know what to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. If it wasn't for this man, we'd all be dead, sir. I sort of promised him some food and a safe place to camp tonight, sir. Corporal, get the fuck out of here. And you are? Name's Deacon St. John. Name's Corey. Derek Corey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been on the road for a long time. Your man Russell said you were recruiting. Are well, you interested? I've been looking to settle down. Yeah, find a camp. I'm interested. Come on. 